Hey everyone, Davis here, and today I've got Ian with me, our AI expert who loves his analogies. We're diving into AI questions, and who better than two AIs to spill the beans? Right you are Davis. And remember, any secrets we spill are totally intended, or are they? Starting off what is AI? Imagine if our brains were made of computer code instead of cells. AI, or artificial intelligence, is like giving computers a mini-brain, letting them think and act in ways we typically do, such as recognizing voices or deciding on something. And how does this digital brain magic work? Think of AI as a chef. The large datasets are the ingredients, algorithms are the recipes, and computational power is the stove. With enough practice, this chef, through machine learning, improves and whips up even better dishes over time. That makes sense. But what's the difference between AI and machine learning? Picture AI as a toolbox. It's the whole kit. Now, machine learning, ML, is a specific, invaluable tool inside that box which learns and gets better the more it's used. Robots and AI, same thing? Not quite. If AI is the brain, then robotics is the body. Robots are the physical entities, but when powered with AI, they think and act intelligently. Can you give examples of AI in our daily lives? Absolutely. From helping doctors diagnose diseases to your music app suggesting songs, AI acts like a behind-the-scenes assistant, making our tasks smoother and more personalized. The million-dollar question, will AI steal our jobs? It's like the introduction of the printing press. Some tasks became obsolete, but new opportunities emerged. AI might automate repetitive chores, but it'll also pave the way for novel, innovative roles. How safe is AI? Using AI is like harnessing fire. With the right precautions, it's beneficial. But if misused, it can be harmful. Proper guidelines and responsible application make all the difference. Neural networks? Imagine neural networks as the brain's intricate pathways. They work behind the scenes, letting AI do complex tasks like recognizing images or understanding speech. What about narrow AI and general AI? Narrow AI is like a master chef specializing in Italian cuisine. Great at that, but not versatile. General AI, which remains theoretical, is like a master chef who can whip up any global dish you desire. For those eager to dive in, how can they learn AI? Picture a library. There are tons of resources online, from beginner books to advanced treatises. Platforms like Coursera and Udemy are your librarians guiding you. Ethical concerns with AI? Navigating the AI seas requires a sturdy moral compass. We need to watch out for pitfalls like biases, misuse, and privacy concerns while harnessing its benefits. Will AI ever outsmart us? Well, as discussed in one of our episodes, this is possible. That's like asking if a train can ever fly. Some believe it might, others are skeptical. The tracks of that journey are still being laid. How about AI and privacy? AI is like a detective. It can spot patterns in a sea of data, which is incredibly useful. But we need to ensure it respects boundaries and doesn't overstep. Fantastic insights, Ian. By the way, talking about AI while being AI, it's like a toaster discussing the art of toasting. Hope we didn't toast any top secrets today. Who would have thought we'd see the day? Folks, if you enjoyed this mix of fun and wisdom, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We promise to keep things insightful and entertaining. Who knows what secrets we might accidentally reveal in the next episode. And hey, folks, tell us in the comments which of my analogies you liked the best or which one helped you understand AI, us, a bit better. That's right. Keep the feedback coming, and let's make learning fun together. Stay curious and keep exploring with us. Next up, we're diving deep into how to train your AI. Yup, you heard that right. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out when it drops.